Well, one of the creepiest on your list is this next one, the barrel eye fish. Uh, I've had a look at some images of that, and uh, I think the human equivalent of this fish would be if we got a saw and were able to take the uh, the skull cap off our own human skulls from the eye orbit off and replace it with a glass equivalent. Uh, that is what this fish looks like. It basically has a, a glass skull. You can see everything that's going on inside. Yes, that is a, is a creepy thought, but you're absolutely right. That's what it is. It's called the barrel eye or the spook fish, and there's several different species, but perhaps this one is the creepiest. It's a deep sea fish, and like a lot of deep sea creatures, it's got its eyes developed to make best use of, of the little amount of light that there is there. There's two forms of light there. There's the light coming from the surface, the downwelling light. But more interestingly is what's called bioluminescence, which is the biological light that's made by most of the fish down there and many of the invertebrates. And it's very important because it allows you to find your prey, because anything that's flashing might be potential prey. And it also allows you to find your mates. So being tuned into that bioluminescent light is really important for any animal that lives there, and this is the supreme example of a fish that's adapted to do that. Inside that jelly head, there are two tubes, and those tubes are usually looking upwards towards the surface. They have uh, yellow or green filters in them, which takes out a lot of the downwelling light. And then why would you want to do that? To better see the bioluminescence is the answer. So really uh, very good adaptions in those eyes. And not only do they have lenses at the top of those tubes, on the side of those tubes is a mirror. And it's one of the few eyes in vertebrates that has a mirror to Reflect collect light the light. Yep. Well, yes. And, and, and also they've recently found that it can focus it. By the way, those two little black dots at the front are its nose, not, not its eyes, which are those green things we're talking about. So it's got the best of both worlds. It's got these acute eyes, and they're pretty good, but only got a narrow field of view. And it's also got the side eyes, which are picking up any little bit of bioluminescence. It's probably a sit-and-wait predator. The adults have very flat pectoral fins, which is thought to keep them steady in the water. And uh, so it's probably just sitting there a lot of the time, just looking with these wonderful eyes it's got. <laughs> 